While much of the conversation today will be about the Chiefs winning the Super Bowl, in politics, the buzz is about Trump. Remarks he made about NATO at a rally in South Carolina are making headlines. Trump being critical of NATO is nothing new. He's often described it as a flawed international partnership, accusing some countries of not pulling their financial weight in the alliance and the U.S. having to overcompensate. In South Carolina on Saturday, Trump recalled pressing NATO countries during his presidency. Trump says he told a NATO ally that if they didn't pay, they'd be cut out. Therefore, no longer protected under NATO policy that promises if a NATO country is attacked, then NATO as a whole will respond. And one of the presidents of a big country stood up and said, well, sir, uh, if we don't pay and we're attacked by Russia, will you protect us? I said, you didn't pay? You're delinquent? He said, yes, let's say that happened. No, I would not protect you. In fact, I would encourage them to do whatever the hell they want. You got to pay. You got to pay your bills. Left-leaning news outlets like CNN describing Trump's words as incendiary remarks that sent very real shudders through Europe. The New York Times favoring foes over friends. Trump threatens to upend international order. Politico's headline read, enough to make Reagan ill. Politico's headline was a quote from Democrat Adam Schiff. Schiff and many Democrats were critical of Trump's comments. The White House even calling it appalling and unhinged. But on the other side, Republicans came to the president's defense. Senator Marco Rubio was asked about Trump's comments on CNN Sunday. Um, you've endorsed Donald Trump. Uh, are you comfortable with him suggesting that he wouldn't defend NATO countries and actually he would invite Putin and Russia to invade them? Well, that's not what happened, and that's not how I view that statement. I mean, he was talking about something, a story that he talked about happened in the past. He doesn't talk like a traditional politician. And uh, we've already been through this now. You'd think people had figured it out by now. What he's basically saying is, if you, if you see the comments, he said NATO was broke or busted until he took over because people weren't paying their dues. And then he told the story about how he used leverage to get people to step up to the plate. Trump's remarks were not well received by NATO. A NATO chief says Trump undermined national and international security and put American and European soldiers at risk. Trump brought up NATO's financial commitments in a comparison to countries giving aid to Ukraine. Trump argued the U.S. is in a similar position by giving more to Ukraine than what other countries have given and argued the U.S. should only provide foreign aid in the form of a loan while Congress currently weighs a foreign aid package.